This is just heaven on earth. Natural rocks from the area really, really fit this property perfectly. I don't like anything obstructing with the waterfall. Oh, that's the front door. Look at that. Yeah. So I'm Greg Whitstock the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock the Pond Guy, and I have the pleasure of traveling the world and visiting certified aquascape contractors like Garden State Koi over here in New Jersey, New York border and see the beautiful creations that they create. Let's check out another beautiful aquascape ecosystem water feature. So we are on a lake and they said, we want the sound of water to greet all of our visitors that come to our house. And look at this, that definitely fits the bill. I love these stairs that they have incorporated and brought over. And Tim, you said two, three years ago you built this? Yeah, roughly about two years ago. We came in here and this was just a, a flat plane going out to the driveway. Uh huh. And they really wanted a special entrance. Yes. Um, beautiful house up here in the Poconos in Holy, Pennsylvania, log cabin style. Yeah, it really is cool. Yep, right on the lake. In the waterfall and the natural rocks from the area really really fit this property perfect so when we started off on this project here we first came in here it was a blank slate and we started off by placing the reservoir for the pondless waterfall right here a series of about 20 aqua blocks is hidden right down there and then after we got that basin and we were able to start building the waterfall we started off with the first drop which is this little drop right here then we started adding in those beautiful stepping stones that lead to the front steps of the house i just love how the waterfall and the water pours through there and then after we were done with this section here, we were able to bring in a lot of soil and some larger boulders like you see here and started building up the elevation. This used to be a big retaining wall in front of us here. And as we built up the elevation, we were able to hide it and blend the waterfall right in. A beautiful drop right there faces the front patio area, as well as those two upper spillways. We have two aquascape 22 inch spillways up there, one on each side, which is the headway for that waterfall. We also came in and put in some of these beautiful aquascape patio pathway lights. And then we also had a terrace the back end off here. This is the back side of the waterfall, which we finished up at the end with a whole bunch of boulders, which are beautifully hidden and only popping out in certain areas due to the plantings. You can kind of see a rock over there and over there. And then while this was going on over here, my teammate Raphael was hard at work. And we also had help from Lindsay Dugan and they put in this beautiful dual spillway bowls over here. Is that done with the basin, an aqua basin and a liner? Yep. These spillway bowls that are spilling into each other were planters that the homeowner actually had. And they asked us if we could do something special with them. So we came up with the idea, actually Thomas Smith from Garden State Koi did, to cut a little weir section in them so the water could spill over them. And then the water spills down into what we call an aqua basin. Holds about 45 gallons, and there's a small pump located down below the gravel. And what happens is the water just keeps recirculating. It's a beautiful little addition to any garden. Fits almost anywhere, and the birds and the wildlife really love it. People always wonder why somebody that lives on a lake or the ocean or has a swimming pool would put in a decorative water feature. One thing is the sound, especially if you live on a lake or a pool it doesn't make a sound but when you put in a water feature you're going to be able to create that sound and look the lake here is in the backyard this is in the front yard greeting all of their guests <laughs> said I should pick up a coffee on this one because it's that beautiful. Does that mean you built it or did Enrique build it? Oh, uh, I built it, but uh, Enrique was on the project. Okay, yeah. so this is how old? About two years. Look at all of those impatience. Wow, when you play, oh, this is just heaven on earth. Wow. Hello. I brought a coffee because they said this is a perfect place to drink a coffee. <laughs> or anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I like this lady. This is gorgeous. So how did this whole thing happen? Well, this backyard has gone through many revisions over the years. Okay, you've lived here for a while. It'll be 22 years. Nice. Mm -hmm. So my best advice to somebody is take a page out of this fall book and call Garden State Koi and Tom right from the get-go. Okay. And get it right from the get-go. Oh, yep. Always okay. cheaper to do it right the first time. Okay. Instead of about, well, there's been many, many, many yeah, okay. <laughs> revisions. Well, it looks spectacular now. It does. And uh, I think this one is like 
a year in the spring. And then there was another one here that didn't even match this, but we were sentimentally attached because the last person Passed that away. did it, yes. And Tom said, you know, they're not gonna look the same, but we thought, okay, well, of course, after this one in, yes, you know, after this one in, we said, oh, it needs, it needs a- place. Right, so when you gave this side a facelift, you had to give this side oh, a facelift yes. too. So about a year now. Yes. And have you always planted the impatience in the, in the streams? Uh, so I would say, boy, has always- Well, Ooh. they look fantastic. They're beautiful. Are yes. those New Guinea impatience? Yes. Yeah. We call them sun patients here. Sun patients. We call them New Guinea patients in Chicago, but when they're right in the water like that, they just grow terrifically to get the sun and the shade, which is perfect. They want a little bit of shade, and yeah. then they're always watered. So they get trimmed because I don't like anything obstructing the waterfalls. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, yeah. When you trim back your annuals, that means that you're doing something right. Oh, okay. <laughs> You've had a water feature for a while then. Yes, but nothing like this. Nothing. It's the last iteration is the best iteration. The very best, very, very best. Yes. And and how do you enjoy this besides having a cocktail well, out here? <laughs> of course, it's just beautiful to be out here. Amen. Number one. The other thing that I really like about this is when you go up to the front of the house, the front of the house is you know just plain. But when you come around, you would never dream right. that all this is back. Sure, here. So, you wouldn't know. No. So when people come back here, they're just awestruck. Yes. Because you would never think that this is in the backyard, and that's how we like it. We didn't want anything. Before. We didn't want to draw any attention. Uh -huh. Tom made sure that we had a view from all the rooms. Oh, sure, on the main sure, floor. sure. So this is the kitchen area over there with the table right there. Yes. So this is the foyer. Can I see it from inside? Oh, that's the front door. Look at that. Yeah. Isn't it something? And then it fills this room with sound. Right, it does. Oh, do you have some dogs I can meet? Are they nice dogs? It's a new puppy. What kind of dog? Airedale. An Airedale. Largest terrier, black and tan. Oh, cool. Uh, and then, of so course... So then the kitchen. Yep. So you have an amazing view. Right here at the kitchen table. <laughs> oh, boy. Incredible. And then the next room is the bedroom. So you wake up to the pond. Yes. You have your meals Yes, there. and your living room there. Right. It's just, it's amazing. So nighttime is one of your favorite times to enjoy this? Uh, we like it all the time. <laughs> right. But it's lit up at night right. and it's just glows. Yes. Oh. Uh, who's this? This is Todd. Are these Wheaton Terriers? No, Airedale. These are Airedales. The largest terrier. Uh huh. He's named after the chief or vet engineer. He's <laughs> been that engineer for years and years. Aww. Is this the puppy yeah. How old? Four months. Aww. Now, were these the parents over here? No, no. You just like these kind of yes, dogs. We do. Aww, right. very cute. What were they bred for? Uh, hunting. Yeah, I would. England. Yeah. yeah. So you've got full grown ones over here. One's 12, one's 7. 12 and 7. Okay. Well, they look to be doing pretty good. What's up, Pooch? Who is visiting your pond? I know. <laughs> and there's the other one. I think that's the younger one. 